and Anura, um, thank you for coming on this program. And also um, thank you for co-hosting this program with me. Um, what we are planning is actually to discuss um, um, some of the some of the items that we need to discuss uh, so that uh, we can bring this attention to the general public. So uh, today, what we are going to discuss is the conduct of this visual media. And uh, we were expecting back in the old days, uh, since 1960s, um, the very good demeanor of uh, politicians when they come and appear in public. And, and uh, for example, say when they debate, or when they when they address uh, you know the, the political campaigns, but unfortunately we are not seeing that. We don't see them using good language. We don't see them using good gestures, and these all were bad in 1960s, 70s, 80s. But right now it seems it is it is normal. But the visual media is not highlighting this fact, and. Um, visual media completely declining from from day by day and uh, what do you think about this and 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 what is your take on this one my you know th by the way thank you for uh, hosting this uh, this program and uh, also conducting the uh, or, or launching this kind of event so that we can one uh, inform uh, our colleagues and, and the general public at the at the same time address very relevant issues that are that are ignored by the traditional media. So thanks again. So 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 to answer your question, you know I think it's a fundamental issue of uh, not recognizing or not respecting uh, each other, and at the same time not 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 adequately respecting uh, uh, the 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 conduct of the media. Because you know, at any time we are in public, there is an, uh, a responsibility that we that we are representing ourselves. At the same time, we are within a community. You know, once you are in a community, there are certain norms and uh, uh, ways of ways that we are we are supposed to behave in respecting each other, literally. And when that is uh, decaying and it's getting broken down, these are some of the some of the outcomes that happens. So we, we see this in the in the written media at times. We see this heavily in the visual media, unfortunately. So 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 the pro I'm I'm glad you have you are highlighting this problem rather than taking it for granted like like what's what's uh, going on uh, in in the in the common uh, discussions. But if you watch this video, just have a watch. And you can see Harin Fernando and uh, Dayasiri Jayasekar, they are coming on this public TV and, and debating. And then they are bashing each other and fighting each other. But this is, this is the public behavior that these visual media were telecasting. Is this what we are expecting from uh, public uh, media like this?
Yeah. Yeah, you know, the, this, this is a directly a response to what we just discussed. They have no respect to each other. They have no respect to the viewing audience either. You know, so, so first of all, the, the facilitator should have addressed this way early. Uh, before it, it broke broken down into this this situation, and and the me and the production media was basically taking advantage of this and trying to milk it to get their ratings and things like that because they are, they know that there is a certain captured audience watching these things for the entertainment purposes rather than for information purposes. So so this is what this is the outcome of the of of their behavior which is deplorable basically as representatives of the public to behave in that kind of manner and and then calling it a topic of discussion on on issues where there were no real issues rather than throwing mud at each other but anura here's the problem i have you know um when we were small right uh, when we were in our kindergarten and then in in uh, in uh, high school that we were told when you come and uh, deliver a speech to the public um, or maybe uh, when you when when you debate right there's a certain way that we should behave and there's a certain way that we should uh, talk to each other we should not over talk or we should not use bad language and uh, our demeanor the and also the gestures we should use and we should not use any kind of like threatening the gesture something like that like there were whole kinds of like uh, um the the teaching that went uh, that that underway so that we we could be better uh, better people when when we come and deliver something to the public but right now it's not happening and with these politicians and the visual media are not highlighting that so what do you what do you think about that uh, yes, you know, uh, sa sadly, sadly, the societal norms have uh, decayed. The standards have gone down, and uh, and for a long time, this is this has been kind of accepted uh, gradually from year after year when these decayed behaviors has existed, especially when when they when they happen by our so-called leaders and uh, people seem to be kind of helpless when these things happen by by, by people who who may not be uh, the societal recognized leaders we, we kind of ignore them but here when the leaders come and behave like this uh, it's, it's 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 deplorable so so what can we do what can we do for the general public is my only my one of my hopes is that the younger generation uh, has either walked away from this traditional media and it's only the older generation that's 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 watching these things and they are relying more on the social media and what what we can do is convey the message to them and show them an alternative way of behaving in the public and especially discussing discussing social issues that impacts everybody uh, through the social media and i hope uh, that awareness can be spread um, it, it's good you brought that point about social media. Let's talk about that a little, little bit later. But um, when, 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 I, when I talk to some of the school children in Sri Lanka, right, and they are Definitely. still, they are still yes. being taught in the, in, in, in the school that this is uh, uh, like, you know, the, the, the debating styles and how they should use the language and, and their demeanor and uh, all kinds of this kind of like, you know, the, the ethical way of uh, uh, coming and delivering something to the general public. And they are still learning this. And, but unfortunately, we are sending it's happening and we are sending a wrong message, I think, by telecasting this kind of bad taste um, debates and public speeches to, the, uh, to, the, to this um, younger generation. And unfortunately, I don't see um, anything 
uh, anybody talking about this and anybody uh, coming up in a big way against the social media what do you think about that yes yes and 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 uh, and, and another thing is that the the younger generation uh, will need will need to really understand and pick up pick up the uh, their expectations and their rights that they have because you know we we should not ignore that as individuals we have a lot of rights in our hands we can stand up against these things we can ignore to watch these things we can change the channel when we want to not watch these things and we can vote not to have these kind of people representing us so we should really take into serious consideration that the individual powers that we have and demand for those rights. Anura, on that very point, right? And um, so when these visual media are telecasting bad debates, so, or the debates that are not up to the standard that we are expecting, um, then I think people have a right and people have a right to not watch them, right? And uh, so what they can do basically, you know, like these programs have a rating system, right? And, and uh, if you change the channel, I think, I think their ratings go down. So are you, are you saying that because of people having right, you can simply change the channel to stop this nonsense? Definitely, definitely, because that that is the signal. You know, the the power of the citizen is the the strongest power. You know, whether it's the production media or or a, or a few politicians, is they are the minority who who are basically trying to uh, monopolize and uh, capitalize on our weakness, our innocence. So so the so the general citizen needs to stand up and and utilize those powers. By, by not watching them, because once you have a remote control in hand, you have all the powers to change your channel and watch something that, that is beneficial for, for the person, because without interpreting that these are for entertainment. This is, this is not entertainment. Anur, I want you to watch these two videos. One of the videos is basically a presidential debate in the United States where George H.W. Bush was debating uh, Bill Clinton. And in, 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 in that debate, you know, in the in United States, these presidential debates are very important. Right after the debate, the debate watchers start um, the, um, the, to analyze the debate. And, and uh, the next day, what happens if your performance is bad? then you are pretty, you, you are screwed. In that debate, he watches, George H.W. Bush watches, uh, his looks at his uh, wristwatch just once. And the next day what happened, they were criticizing and they saying George H.W. Bush didn't want to be in that place and he wanted to, um, you know, like get, uh, you know, like get out of this debate. And that was, that was one of the reasons for his loss. And uh, now, if if you if you look at if you watch the second video where President J R Jayawardena was considered one of the statements statements in Sri Lanka, and he came to United States and had a public appearance with Ronald Reagan, and uh, while he while Ronald Reagan was speaking, President J R Jayawardena looked had looked at his uh, wristwatch four times, and what happened the next day? All the media against President Jayawardena, who was competing against Lee Kuan Yew, against Mahathir Mohamed in, in those countries, those media started criticizing him. And he they, they were basically portraying, portraying President Jayawardena as a person who doesn't know how to go to a, a foreign country and how to basically um, uh, display good public demeanor. And uh, that was the discussion. I remember that very well. But that is for President Jayawardena. But now, if you look at these politicians who have no clue how to go to a country and, and display uh, the, the demeanor, what can we say about them? Let's talk about some of the funny debate moments. I know we're not going to get all of these here, but I just want to go through a few of these. Remember that time when George W. Bush was debating Al Gore, and Al, Do Al Gore hilariously did a lot of sighing during George W. Bush's questions. Here's one example of that. I really like this one. This is great. 
I've had a record of appointing judges in the state of Texas. That's what a governor gets to do. <laughs> I love that. Every time I see that, I just think it's great. And you know what? Show some emotion. If, you, if you're the guy you're up against is saying nonsense, respond in a way that shows that. But of course, you've got to make sure it's a focus tested response. That's a focus group tested response. It's not going to make you seem overly aggressive because that would be bad. You've got to always keep it, keep it close together. Right, Lewis? Of course. Then Al Gore trying to intimidate George W. Bush, or maybe not, walking around to him when George Bush wouldn't talk about, what was it, Dingle Norwood, Natan? Yeah. And George W. Bush just kind of looking over and smirking at him and continuing on with his answer. A classic moment from the 2000 presidential debate. I specifically would like to know whether Governor Bush will support the Dingle Norwood bill, which is the main one pending. Governor Bush, you may answer that if you'd like, but also I'd like to know how you see the differences between the two of you, and we need to move on. Well, the difference is, is that I can get it done. So Bush that stands. I can get something positive done on behalf of the people. That's what the question in this campaign is about. It's not only what's your philosophy and what's your position. And then Al Gore gets up and walks over to but him. But can you get things done? <laughs> and I believe I can. All right. What a classic moment. And then, of course, Al Gore getting the question in once again. Take a listen. What about the Dingle Norwood bill? <laughs> so putting that back in, classic moment. Got to love that one. And then let's go to Clinton versus Bush in the 1992 debate. I really like this one. This is the moment where George H.W. Bush made a big, big mistake, which is while he was being asked a question, a very, a very important question, he looks at his watch. He gets caught looking at his watch, which is widely now known to be a really, really bad moment, if you couldn't tell from George H.W. Bush. Let's look at that one. We have a question right here. Yes, how has goes. national debt... What time is it? I'm sorry, I know you're asking me a really important question, but what time is it? Because I can't stay here too, too much longer. And then this actually was also one of Bill Clinton's best moments, where Bill Clinton actually went and, uh, and actually answered the question incredibly well. This is the I feel your pain moment where he stands up, he walks over close to the crowd, and he says, I understand what you're talking about. Widely regarded as one of the moments where Bill Clinton really connecting with the audience. Take a look. That's why I'm trying to do something about it by stimulating the export, vesting more, better education systems. Thank Have you. you. Well, done. Here goes Don't Bill Clinton. Has affected you again? Um, you know people who lost their well, jobs, yeah. lost their homes? Uh -huh. Well, I've been governor of a small state for 12 years. I'll tell you how it's affected me. <laughs> President, Jaya Warden, Nancy and I are very pleased to have this opportunity to welcome you and Mrs. Jaya Warden to the White House. Although our two countries are on opposite sides of the globe, we share a common bond in the great institution of democracy. A theory, it's a way of life. This spirit makes it natural that our two nations should be friends. Unfortunately, not conflict. As a nation of many races, religions, and ethnic groups, we Americans know from experience people and their children will reap rewards for many years to come, thanks to the bold economic... Yeah, you know, sadly, that was, that was a major mistake uh, done by uh, President Jawadana, where uh, he would have not uh, taken it very seriously, but it happened. And, and the body language that portrays through video media is very significant and he should have been briefed about it and uh, you know it, it's it's a lasting it was a lasting impact where he was it portrayed as if he was not very keen to be there or not too interested in the in the event when he was there uh, basically begging for aid and at, at a time like that and and you can see the personality reflected by Ronald Reagan with his height and posture and uh, his friendliness and his smile and uh, uh, you know open hands uh, to his guests and uh, we should have been much more 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 uh, 
understanding of the environment, the society that he was in, and it's at the same time that he's been covered by by visual media across the world. And uh, Anur, I know uh, you go to countries and you meet people and you greet them. And when you do that, like, you know exactly like how to respect them, right? And look at like Barack Obama. Yes. And when he comes to India, yes. he, he basically traditionally, he knows how to greet in Indian way. And also like he has read something about that culture too. And that is the that that is my expectation when our politicians go to a country and yes. if they represent the whole country so are we not expecting our politicians would little bit behave uh, the the same way that uh, we want them to behave yes definitely you know we 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 do this even in in this country you know we 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 try to learn what their customs are so that so that we don't trample on on, on their, you know, on their customs unnecessarily, and we we learn to respect them. You know, it, it comes from res the 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 fact of respecting each other, and uh, respecting the law and respecting customs. Uh, just because you know a person is a, a leader of a country within their own country, and they sometimes believe that they could be above everybody else, which is which is not the fact. And especially when you go outside the country. You need to understand that uh, you need to express your humbleness much more than uh, when you were in your own country. Andra, um, do you remember Barack Obama versus Hillary Clinton debates in 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 their primaries? Yeah. And um, you know, like whenever Barack Obama or Hillary Clinton, right, either one of them went um, negative against the other on their personal character so it's like personal attacks cheap politics they call it right and the next day their debate performers were analyzing and and they were basically screwed right and uh, what that means is basically people were clearly sending a message hey we don't care you are a uh, trash whatever the trash you have all what we need is basically what kind of what kind of uh, policies you will bring in and how do you make this country better and isn't it, it should be the uh, should be what we should follow and this visual media should telecast as well that was a clear example where the public citizens were very smarter uh, than the politicians on the stage and at the same time their expectations were much more higher than than what was portrayed by the two politicians sadly you know, so so once your standards, once you raise your standards, this is the difference you see. And when your stands, standards are low, and you tend to uh, take for granted any any trash that you see see on the media. So it's it's up to the society to lift our expectations and standards, especially when we have the right and power in a democratic society. When when we need to be ruled and served by those whom we aspire to serve us. So we, you know, I think as citizens, we do not, ex unfortunately, don't exercise those powers heavily with, you know, just, just walking in and, and uh, granting our votes to, you know, one of the two or three parties uh, that we have. It's very important that the, the citizens exercise their powers through voting and any other situations in where we should stand up against uh, such behaviors. As an example, I would say in that debate among the two politicians, that the rest of the other participants should have walked out. They should have literally walked out and conveyed a message that we do not accept these kind of behaviors. If the media coordinator was unable to stop that, the responsibility of the, uh, the next responsibility was up to the, the rest of the participants. And the third one would, was the audience uh, where we should have just shut the shut the channel out and said a very clear message what we as the general public expects so when um, when visual media fails to stand up to the task and so what is the what is the other alternative basically the the, the citizens have what other media they have yeah you know 
as I'm, I know, I'm, I'm so glad that many of the younger generation has already given up on the traditional media and they, are, they get their information from the social media. And, and I think your objective is also to make this younger generation informed and make them much more aware. So we should use these kind of forums, these kind of, kinds of uh, discussions to share that kind of knowledge and awareness with, with the younger generations to show that you know, our expectations must needs to be much more higher. You know, how we drive on our roads should be much more uh, tolerant to each other, uh, being considerate to each other, how we talk to each other, how we uh, treat each other, how we, you know, go and stand in a line. These are basic human uh, things that we need to do just to respect each other, you know, when you live in a community. Andra, um, since you brought up that point about social media, right? And uh, we see this thing happening even in social media because a lot of people are demonizing the other and they talk with no facts at all and uh, all kinds of bad language being used. Um, so a lot of things are happening even in social media. And some people are suggesting that they, we should bring a sort of a regulatory framework uh, for social media as well. And uh, so what, what do you think about that? Oh, you know, I think already there are, there are laws in the book, books in uh, many other countries where they've, they've uh, locked up people for cyberbullying because it's a psychologically uh, disrespecting and, uh, and hurting another human being. So then there needs to be laws and I, you know, I hope uh, we as a society, uh, you know, implement those laws, but, but more, more importantly, uh, the, the, the respecting of each other is, should needs to become a very fundamental uh, education and awareness that uh, needs to happen in, in, in our society. Uh, if the leaders are not doing it, it's, it's up to the citizens. Uh, you know, that can be done. Even in social media, you know, we need to, we have that power to cancel whatever discussion that we, we, uh, we don't like to see, you know, wh whoever is attacking. And, and what I, my, my observation has been in social media that when the facts are not clear, when the facts are not on the table, it's perception that's, that people are arguing. You know, I, 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 I hope, in the, especially uh, down the line, uh, especially in the uh, political arena, uh, uh, where this has become much more of a ma major issue, where people are debating on their own perceptions of issues instead of the facts of the issues, uh, where uh, knowledge bases and uh, you know experts, experts sh uh, shared facts can, should be discussed instead of uh, your individual opinions. You know, even in uh, even in social media, right? I have seen this sometimes. Uh, people um, people uh, basically use very bad language against the other. By that, what they do is basically he shuts uh, shuts off the other's opinion, right? And uh, what do you think about that? You know, it's it's not as bad as the, what the politicians are doing, but the 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 common sense that you get is when someone is trying to overpower and overrule a conversation it's because they do not have the facts to present and win their case or present, you know this is the race it's it's pure ignorance of the situation so you know once once the facts are available uh, people people tend to fall back and so there it's very important that when we go into, uh, especially even in business, that we take the facts to the uh, particular discussion and you know, discuss um, facts rather than throwing, uh, Lanka, throwing various uh, opinions about certain things and perceptions. In 1960s, 70s, and uh, let, let's call it the, the olden days, right? And we were expecting respect from the politicians, and that was called the olden days, right? And uh, the, the good, good old days. And Unfortunately, we are not expecting that anymore, and uh, yes. this has become just a normal thing. And so, even the even the people are born today might think this is normal. This is uh, you know like this kind of behavior is normal, and 
what do you think about that? Or maybe it should it be like that? Yes, you know, sadly, our political system has given so much of unconditional power and unquestionable authority to our politicians. We as citizens have uh, kind of given away all, almost all the powers that we have as citizens to these uh, politicians and, and they have got drunk out of the power and that this is how they are behaving. This is a very sad affair. And, uh, and uh, you know, on, on a different topic, our, our power sharing needs to be discussed and uh, the citizens need to take back some of the power that we've lost so that we can have public servants behaving as public servants who represent us, not as people drunk with power. But um, he, 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 here's the problem even in, in social media. You know, like uh, this kind of videos the, with bad taste, right? And, and they are being circulated very fast and they go viral in social media. And uh, so how can we stop that? Yeah, you know, going viral is a natural phenomenon, unfortunately. But, but the other option is when people are informed that something is uh, not conducive and it, it's, it's not, not very healthy, uh, not useful, they need to start uh, staying away from them uh, rather than trying to use them as entertainment. It, it is all just entertainment and, and the two representatives uh, I hope uh, has been clearly exposed to the general public and they, they know who these people are. Uh, their, their whole character was displayed. And I'm hoping that uh, they'll be expelled in, in the upcoming elections. And uh, this is the action that, that people needs, needs to exercise. You know, in, uh, in Sri Lankan political campaigns, right? Uh, how, how politicians deliver their speech. You know, in, in many countries, right, a, a bad gesture, like, you know, um, raising the finger like this, and uh, it, it's a bad gesture, and it's not accepted. It's like, a, it's like you threatening the, the audience by raising the finger like this, right? And, but in Sri Lanka, that's not the case. Even public uh, want that kind of uh, gesture sometimes, right? Oh, definitely, especially especially what happened recently in the parliament, where you know they both uh, both parties, all representatives, behave like kindergarten kids, and that was uh, a real embarrassment to everyone. You know, so so these these actions needs people need to stand up and be counted and uh, voice their opinions against them, and at the same time exercise their powers. Through, through voting and, uh, and any other time, whether we are watching a video, uh, watching uh, TV on, with, with the remote uh, channel, uh, remote control, or, or any other citizen rights have to be exercised when you see these kind of behaviors. They, they are totally unacceptable. And, um, and another thing is, uh, have you seen like, when we see this kind of debates like with uh, with bad gestures or some kind of like bad language being used don't you think there are some visual media who are basically uh, highlighting that and 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 broadcasting it uh, more than uh, anything else and uh, what have you seen that kind of things yes i'm uh, you know i'm in full agreement and let me add something to that I think it's about time we make use of the elections commissioner to demand a code of conduct by our representatives during elections and after elections, because that is a power he has as an authority of the elections, as the elections commissioner, he can demand a certain level of conduct from those who are running for public office. So, you know, that, I'm, I'm hoping that needs to come as a voluntary uh, event. You know, he can exp he can ask the political parties to uh, declare them, and we, the citizens, can see how they behave against it, and if necessary, take action action if they are violating. 
so these kind of uh, you know these are very sad affairs where we are now we have to control our leaders it's like in, instead of the kindergarten kids we we the citizens have to take our our rights to our hands and uh, and define how they should behave which is which is a very sad affair and um, anura like uh, do you think like when people see this kind of bad display by the politicians right and the people should send some kind of message hey this is not what we are expecting from you and uh, don't you think that we need to send some kind of a message to these politicians yes and let me add to that and that and we also need to interpret that as as that behavior occurs because of their ignorance of the issues and policies and that's that that is why they are behaving behaving like that so we need to we need to keep keep in our minds that the the result of their behavior is because of these reasons and um, what lastly what we need to tell people is right when you see this kind of bad debates and bad using bad language vulgar language right yeah. um in, in tv simply just yes. change the channel right change the channel that will send a big message to the broadcaster or telecaster right isn't it like that is what we should do yes because they get paid by the advertising companies by through the commercials based on the number of viewers and they know exactly how many people are viewing it and the moment we shut those channels off we start not watching them uh, that is the best signal we can give uh, give our citizens because let's not forget the fact that we are the majority uh, as the citizens we have the real power in our hands uh, the simple minorities are these few production tv production companies and and the handful of politicians 225 odd number of politicians you know we need to take that into consideration and, and exercise the citizen powers hi anra um, uh, lastly i want to thank you uh, for coming on this program and uh, joining with us in this independent movement so that we can discuss these issues uh, and bring them uh, to the forefront and i i really appreciate your contribution thank you thank you kid city for conducting this kind of program i really appreciate i know the uh, hard work that goes behind this kind of uh, events uh, i truly appreciate it very much on behalf of everyone who will be watching this thank you all right